briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Nebraska Supreme Court reignited a 1981 dispute between Larry Draper and John R. Morlung over a failed real estate transaction in the case Morlang v. Draper. At the heart of the disagreement were a buried gas line and an unpaved street associated with the property, earmarked for Morlong's planned solar home. Draper, the seller, failed to meet these specific conditions in the contract, relocating the gas line belonging to Kansas-Nebraska Natural Gas Company, Inc., and paving the abutting street. Despite offering a substitute lot, Draper's noncompliance led to Morlong rejecting the offer and the inability to close the deal. The initial verdict by the district court sided with Morlong, awarding him monetary damages. However, Draper challenged this decision, arguing that specific performance, actually following through with the original contract, would cause him undue hardship. Contrary to Draper's claims, the Supreme Court made a pivotal decision. They found that the lower court had erred in awarding damages rather than enforcing the contract. Despite the possibility of hardship, no valid reasons exempted Draper from fulfilling his original obligations, denoting that an imprudent or bad bargain is not excusable for non-performance. Therefore, the Supreme Court reversed the district court's judgment. The case was remanded back to the lower court with firm instructions order specific performance of the contract in accordance with the original written agreement between Draper and Morlong. This decision reaffirmed the power of equity court to enforce specific performance when a contract related to land or interest therein is definite, mutual, and free from overreaching fraud and unfairness. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.